The stars are hitting the stage in Toronto as Pride Week kicks off. That in moments, but first, Andrew and Emma together on the red carpet. That tops tonight's fresh news. Having the genuine interaction with kids and uh, grown-ups and old, old ladies that love this character as much as I do. Uh, and uh, I feel at home when, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm with them. Andrew Garfield and his lady love Emma Stone swing into Hollywood for the amazing Spider-Man's L.A. premiere. I always just hope that everybody has a good time and enjoys themselves and gets lost in a different world for two hours. Carisha Turner kicks off Pride festivities along Toronto's famed Church Street. And tomorrow night, 80s music legend Corey Hart takes the stage. It felt that not performing at Pride as, as a first come back for me to to be on stage uh, w w would have been disrespectful to the to the message that I'm trying to convey next we're with Jeannie Becker as she hands over a $50,000 check to dress for success Toronto the 33rd edition of the Montreal Jazz Fest kicks off and e-talk is everywhere our coverage begins with a homecoming like none other for Rufus Wainwright Thousands of fans pack the Quartier des Spectacles to see their favorite local boy take to the city's biggest outdoor stage. If you're running from your doorstep. And for Rufus, whether he's performing or not, there's no place like home. I've saved Montreal uh, for the last better late than never. It's going to be a different show unlike, unlike any I've, I've done so far on the tour. Down the street, Dragonette gave an intimate concert at the official opening of the new Armani Exchange Boutique. That is so much more fun yeah. than when yeah. we play our stadium shows. There's definitely a different energy. Also the argument in the small room, it's easier to fill it with energy. <laughs> Mostly, it's, it's manageable. I think we can do it. And the Juno Award-winning band were feeling the love of La Belle Provence. Montreal yeah. feels like uh, the easiest place to have a good time again. Have yeah, every time. city has a catchphrase. Yeah. That's, that's Montreal's. Finally, get to know Marie-Christine. It's crazy. I uh, really didn't uh, dream that this would actually happen. But here I am, and I'm ready to funk the place up. Having already collaborated with Stevie Wonder, the young Montrealer star is rising, and she owes it all to Corey Hart. For me, it was a blessing. Um, I mean, I've been working in the backgrounds for the last 10 years, and he had another view to, to share with me and a lot of advice to give me. So I was very lucky, for sure. Up 